Okay, I'm gonna be playing this game. This is uh, a s I don't know. This is like a spin-off to the PlayStation Home. Uh, and I know the audio's loud, so I'm gonna see if I can uh, get the audio down a little bit. So, like I said, this is a spin-off to the PlayStation Home. One PlayStation Home. Uh, one of this was an area in PlayStation Home. Uh, and now I'm gonna just go out. It's called Big City Stories. It's free for PlayStation 4. Uh, it seems to only be on a PS4 right now. Um, basically, you make your own character, clearly big or small. Um, you can create your own town and develop it and all of that stuff. And you have a level and it looks like people can dance around and stuff. You clearly see it's pretty much uh, the PlayStation Home version. Now, the cool thing is clearly you can make your character big or small or any other size deformities. Um, I didn't know my character looked so short compared to others, but that's how it is. Um, you can also customize your character, of course. Uh, the more achievements you uh, achieve on this game, you can change the outfits. So, I'm pretty sure you guys saw this level before. If you haven't, I'll make sure I, I see if I can get a link from one of my old PlayStation Home videos and put that in the description. But it's like a complete rip. Uh, not a rip off, just a rip of this area that was in PlayStation Home. Oh, by the way, unlike in PlayStation Home, they allowed you to fucking do one thing, and that was fucking jump. Oh, they also have the chat box too, so that's pretty fucking cool. So, yeah. Oh, and people were dancing all over the place and stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's fantastic. Is he dead? I don't think so. We're gonna go get on here and travel. There was a place I saw and then I was like, I don't know where to fucking go. I don't know where to fucking go, dude. This city sucks. I just, I'm trying to go to a good city, basically. Now, the cool thing is, um, okay, so the cool thing about big city stories, you make your own city, and other people can make it too. This game allows you to make, you know, one city per person. It can be as big as the cityscape allows you to make it. It's pretty big. You can also drive cars in this game, unlike in PlayStation Home, like I've already went over. You can jump. There's other activities like killing zombies and other stuff like that. There's a lot of different things. The game is free to play. It does have trophies. And of course, it also has microtransaction, but it's all up to you if you want to go do that. I wouldn't recommend it. You can play it for free. There's no platinum. Uh, but as you guys know, I used to cover a lot of PlayStation Home, and I believe I'm obligated to cover this since it's not like super final form, because it's still being updated. Uh, but I believe it's far along enough to show you guys this. So it's on, uh, I guess it's starting to load, finally. Loading times are not to my liking. This is my first time going to somebody else's city. Um, besides making my character for the first time. But I think it's a pretty good thing. I mean, PlayStation Home fans have been looking for some sort of successor. This is not a successor. This is something until the, uh, the game that I really want to support will come out. Which is Neb Nebula Realms, I believe. I'm going to have a link to that in the description as well. It'll be the second link. Um... The first link would be this same area in PlayStation Home, which I made a walkthrough of. I just gotta go find it. <clears throat> it is taking quite a while. Um. I think the only gold trophy in this game is like, I don't even know. Let's collect 
guys clearly okay so like I said you can drive cars in this game and it seems like everybody is already in a car uh, the, uh, the other cool thing that I like about this game is um, it's pretty much open world once you get into the city you see it took a while to load um, physics in a car are much better than the original one from PlayStation Home graphics are enhanced around the city compared to the original uh, little area in PlayStation Home uh, like I said the cool thing about this area in PlayStation Home was pretty much the same it was a it was um, it was a different little game inside of PlayStation Home and what you would do is you would make this town and people could visit your town inside of PlayStation Home so there would be a good amount of people that could be in there so all you have to do is just if you okay you can walk forward so uh, I don't believe you can go inside of any buildings but this is a hallway from what I believe to be a college campus which I don't remember in the original let's just call it a project that was in PlayStation Home that ended up being this individual free-to-play game uh, but once again of course it's not the best lighting's good don't see much of a shadow um, but it's still something you know what I'm saying now as you can see there's other people in this open world area um, and there's AI also so that's cool so you can talk to these pedestrians uh, we'll zoom in and just say a message and stuff like that Character models don't look half bad. Wish my character looked a lot better. So like I said, that's a another player. That, and I'm guessing that's another player or is that AI uh, trying to fucking crash into the building? Oh, it's flipping over. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we're just gonna not deal with that. I think you can go to any car and just take it. go see what they're doing over here oh okay I guess that still works um one of the other cool things about this game uh, is supports day and night cycle for our from what I remember uh, because it's nighttime here I'm confused what's this Huh, that's interesting. They have a gas station here that it seems that you would have to refill your car at this gas station. So you cannot drive the car unlimitedly. You will run out of gas for the car that you have uh, and then you will have to come here and restock on gas. Looks like they got vending machines but they're not, they don't have any stickers on them. Once again, I don't know how long this video is going to be. It's my first time visiting anybody else's town and my town isn't even close to being created like this one but um as you can see different types of houses this person put here reminds it reminds me of something from uh the hobbit the little hobbit houses a little bit um you see the dandelions they did really good the trees and all of that stuff's moving so they got solar panels on these. Well, I get to jump up here. Oh fuck! I didn't make that jump. All different types of flowers here. So once again, this is a free-to-play title. You will be able to meet other players. Um, and I don't want to say it's like No Man's Sky, but you can make your city and somebody else can visit it and you literally get to see the person and you get to run around with them and you get to text chat them and all of that other stuff you can see the text chat is over here and you see that this person's in the car but I can drive in the car with this person so they're there and you can r ride around the city with them if you want to but he's not or she's not moving um, so yeah so 
in your town you can put anything you want um houses uh skyscrapers businesses hospitals malls uh college campuses anything you really want to put in your town it's up to you and once again once you develop your town and it's public clearly anybody can visit your town so don't just go to go go into this game saying bam okay i'm here nobody's gonna join yeah people can join at any time um but once again it's free to play so take it with a grain of salt if the graphics aren't up to your liking you know that's all good but it is a free to play title it has trophies you can make your own town other people can visit your town you can visit other people's town whenever the fuck you want ah there's that donut shop i remember from the other game really got to work hard to go find that link now i wouldn't call this a hd remaster of something that was in playstation home but i would you know there's some differences clearly it's on its own this time but this if you know if, if there's two donut shops here okay uh this guy really must like donuts but like i said if you really wanted some sort of playstation home closure until like i said what i'm waiting for is nebula realms which is better than this in the carrot department as well as the um buildings and stuff and i will wait for that this one seems to have picnic tables around here oh, that's nice got a transformer right here like it, it's 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 your full-fledged little town thing I mean, like I said, all of this was placed here by somebody. So, this was not just randomly generated. This is an area that was placed here by somebody. And you can run around and all of that shit until you hit an invisible wall. If there is one, I'm going to keep going. The draw distance not bad either. I can still see the top of the donut shop. And the invisible wall is high mountains. So that's what the invisible wall is. And if you want to run, just continuously push forward and you will run. And the grass went above my head. <laughs> oh boy. Once again, not the best game out here. Not the best. But I'm still bringing it to you because, you know, that's what I do. Um... Oh, it looks like we finally found some... Whoa, it's a swimming pool. Somebody made a swimming pool that I can just go under the water like it's no big deal. Um, Kind of weird somebody put a swimming pool right here. Is this a house? This might be somebody's house. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like a nice... Nice house right here. Door is huge as fuck compared to me. Oh, and it crashed. Nope. Don't worry about it. Okay, I guess I have to report it, I guess. I don't know. Okay. That's Big City Stories. Once again, it has trophies. We can go over some of the trophies if you would like. Um, I haven't earned any yet. Uh, once you reach a uh, mayor level 50, you get a gold um, and all these other trophies. There's no platinum in this game. But remember, the game is free to play. Um, I would say it's just out of beta or whatever. But if you're interested in this, it's here. 